is up people, welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Light. I know what you're saying, what is this world? What are you doing here? Why are you in creative mode? Well, it's because I want to show you something before we get into the server. Uh, on the map on the top right, you can probably see there's something crazy going on on the map. You know, it's not some kind of design that you would see normally. Well, it's because I've decided that I was going to do something for the other player on the server. I was going to make them go mad. Yes, that was my goal. And I think I did it proudly. Well, it's not done yet, but the design of it, I think, is pretty awesome. So, what can I say? I like mazes. Yeah, you know, I'm all for a good maze and all. But we're in modded. We need something quite special to be, be happening. Well, I was thinking, you know... There's something called, I don't know if I can do it here, uh, vector plates. Oh yeah, okay. So if you didn't know, you can come here, I then cheating, done, and there you go. The vector plates, they're pretty awesome to the fact that they make you move on your own. Well, I was thinking, why not use this and put that into a maze? So, I was looking at it and I was like, eh, how could I do this, you know, it's something quite uh, special, but like, if you never move and just go and boom, you're at the end, it's quite boring. So, I was thinking, you start in a space, and then, well, you can, you can make a choice. One little choice will bring you to another choice. Which will bring you to another one, to another one, to another one, to another one, to another one. And eventually, well, you'll get to this diamond block, which is going to give you a reward. Uh, so let, let's start. Let's say, well, this is going to be where you start. So let's say uh, the cobblestone is a path that leads to uh, the area that you start. Okay, so this one always points to this. So, let's say you would start by going here. Okay, boom, you start here. So, this is a choice. You have the choice to be to either go right or either go left. You, you choose to go left. Okay, so, oh, you got another choice, right or left? You go left. Okay, so left brings you all around. Oh, you got another choice. Right or left? Oh, left. Okay. Oh, and then you come back to the middle. So, you do get the point. The first level is quite simple. Because there is four possible outcome, you can go in each of the corner, and it is possible to reach each and every corner. So let me show you. So currently, for the plans that you can see right here, I've got some the cobble the the cobblestone is the way that goes back inwards. The nether brick is the choices, and the glass is where there's going to be a piece of. Uh, packed ice so you slide through because those are intersection that you just like go through uh, and yeah so you reach the, the the corners and in the corners then there is this uh, the purple is the, the the right way by the way it's uh, the, the the real way to do it so as you can see the purple is quite weird really really weird because you know if let's say you start here well you go there you go here, oh, you choose, okay, you go there, okay, you ever, okay, you choose, oh, you go there, wait, what, where am I gonna go there, okay, well, I'm gonna go here, oh, I'm having another choice, oh, I've got another choice, oh, I'm gonna go all the way over there, come back around here, go here, I've got another choice, go here, there's a lot of possibility, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, <laughs> there is a lot of... I haven't calculated the number of possibilities of things that could go wrong. I just know that it there is a lot of things that can go wrong. And this is why I love this. This looks amazing to me. This is just great. So, yeah. Uh, now we're going to go on the server and we're going to create that thing. And it's called a thing because... It is quite a thing. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you on the server. Alright guys. 
So we are now on the server. Uh, you can see that's my house. And I've already prepared a little hole where we're gonna make that maze. Oh, and seriously, there's a sun. <laughs> uh, well, people are gonna have little slimes, you know. Oh, I didn't know I was in a slime chunk, but uh, I guess it's okay. It's not a giant problem. Uh, but as you can see, it's quite a big, uh, a big hole. Uh, I came with these, so you know I can do uh, the walls in one go. And boom, the walls are done. <laughs> oh wow, that took everything. Well, I guess we need to go back to the base. Uh, oh, I guess I could do that. It's a lot faster. Uh, basalt. I didn't know it was gonna take that much. That means, man, I'm gonna use a lot of those blocks. I was thinking at first of doing the floors uh, of the levels with mana glass, which would have been really nice, you know, just a full mana glass floor, because you would have been able to see the top floor, uh, the, the design of the top floor while doing the bottom floor, but I can't do it because you can't place vector plates on mana glass. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm doing them three talls, uh, I'm gonna put the last block at the top as a mana glass block. So that way we're gonna have lights and everything. Uh, we're gonna start by the bottom, uh, the bottom section, of course. And in every corner, there's going to be a three by three, uh, you know, a three by three uh, of nothingness. Can I get that torch? I'm I'm gonna replace it in the corner. So we're gonna place the three corners. This is where everything's based off. I really don't want that stupid stone. Stop giving me stone. I want the torches. There it is. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to go and get those. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to start placing uh, the the walls first, and then we're gonna place the vectors uh, in between the walls in the direction they're supposed to go. All right. So let's start by I'm gonna say that uh, this is going to be the entrance. I think. No, my base is yeah yeah. It's okay. So this is the bottom. No, this is the top of my image, because yes, I had to bring my image with me, because let's be honest, this is quite complicated to do. Okay, so we're going to start by doing this thing here. So it's two, one, two, three. You know, I'm going to be doing this for a little bit, <laughs> because this is going to be a little bit complicated. Uh, you know, so stuff like that. Uh, for now, I really need to grab those torches. Because this is going to be filled with mob eventually. So I will need to grab those with me. And of course, they, they end up all at the same place as where the walls go. Where are the torches? They just disappear. Like, there was one right there. I did not place it. Oh wow, it's right there. Just, you know, 5 meters away, or 50. But yeah, so that means that this is going to, again, torches, it's going to take me like quite a little bit of time just to get the pattern, but what I'm going to do is, well, I could do a little bit with you guys, I think. Ah, uh, so there's, uh, I need to calculate my things, so it goes two further, and then there's this that's going to come here. Gonna go there. And this is why you do it before. And the maze that I did, I am really proud of saying that I did not use a program to do it. It was 100% created by me. Well, the, the point is, I tried to use a program and I couldn't because, well, it didn't work. There's no program to create what I wanted to create. So I ended up doing myself. <laughs> but it's okay, it turned out to be okay. Uh, it goes, uh, no, nope. doesn't go there. Boom, 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 boom. 
And you know the worst part about all this? Is I calculated how many glass I needed for making the floors out of mana glass. And it took a lot, so I had to go mine all that thing. And turns out I didn't need it. Yeah. So I've got like 2,000 mana glass not being used right now. It's quite not fun. Asso comes here. This goes all the way. Okay. Uh, then this two before. Boom, boom. Uno, dos, two. All right. So that thing here will go there, there, there. All this. <laughs> it's hard to 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 get. This is how I'm looking at it, by the way, guys. On my image, I'm like looking at it like that. So I should have probably started with the bottom. That would have made more sense. You know, since you you see everything at the from the view at the bottom, you should probably start from the bottom. Oh wow, I have no idea where I'm going with this. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, place one, skip one, place one. And there you go. Alright. So this is gonna go there, this is gonna go there, this is straight. It, this goes like that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't look, but there's a lot of parts that I did, like, it looks a little bit, like, similar on the bottom and the top. No, kind of have to at some point. It's quite a big area, and I did not match my things. One, two, three. Ne, ne. I made an error. This one doesn't go there. But yeah, guys. Right, I'm gonna do the design a little bit. And I'll bring you guys back to show you. We're gonna place the vector place together. It's going to be a little bit rough because I'm probably gonna get stuck in a couple of them. Yeah, just a tiny bit. You know what's fun when you do a maze? When you think it's 29 by 29 and it ends up being 29 by 30. Yeah, I made an error. Let's break that wall. <laughs> oh, it was going so well. Break everything! Oh, of course. Yep. Oh, come on! Don't start with this! You're starting to piss me off already. So, yeah, I need to make this bigger and move everything one block. <laughs> when the gods are on your side and that you think you have a room with 29 by 30, it's 29 by 29! After you even removed one block! So to the beginning, my room was 29 by 28. Oh, seriously, I'm tired of building those walls. I'm really tired. I guess I'm gonna do another one. Alright guys, so the first level is there. After, you know, moving the wall a couple of times and doing this all over again. Uh, it is there. Uh, the only thing I'm a little bit afraid of right now is that I need to go get something. And, well, uh, there, there's some dangerous, dangerous spot a little bit everywhere. I think... Yeah, I got most of them. There we go. There's another one here. Another one there. There we go. Let's put that there. Did I get every spot? There's a red one over there, but... Eh, it's okay. Let's put that one there. And let's put the last one there. Okay, so we should be good. Uh, let oh. RB just slugged. <laughs> I just said the same thing twice. Uh, we need to grab... Uh, what is it? Packed ice. I, I grabbed some packed ice, so we're going to be able to place it where it is needed. And let's hope there's not a lot of monsters in here. Nice, perfect. Okay, so if we look from the top, uh, again, this is where we come from. So we're looking at the top. Uh, wait, no. That's the top. 
Okay, <laughs> really important to know where the top is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place that there and place this where it should go, which is normally the intersection. It's, it's quite easy to figure out. Like this one, you know, there's only three. That means it's going to be a choice. This one has four, which means it's an intersection. It's just so, you know, you glide onto it. I don't even think you're going to need it, to be honest. But, you know, we, we do this in the perfect way. Or else we don't do it at all. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm missing some. Yeah, like here. Uh, any door? Any more, more four ways? Oh, there's one right here. Perfect. Uh, there is one right there. Okay, so if I go down, there's one right here. Okay, so nothing that seems to be a four-way around here. Seems to be okay. Uh, this is a three, this is a three, this is a three. All right, we seem to have done them all. Okay, so now this is the hard part. Um, those here, the two in the middle are always the one facing in. So you do stuff like that. Okay, and well, these on the side point outwards. I'm gonna have to remove this from my offhand so I don't place a block of ice. Uh, really important, these need to be facing towards where you are going. Like so. So what I think is going to happen is you, you know, you, you get here, you do this, and <laughs> you're back here. <laughs> so the way, the reason I'm using these, it's it's so fast that you won't have the time to do anything, and you're just not even gonna know where you are. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh. And this is the, why I'm doing this three three high. Just because I know that if I do this too high, I won't be able to get out. All right. So here is a choice. So you got a choice of going this way, and a choice of going that way. Uh, what do you do here? Oh yeah. Uh, this one is special. Uh, sometimes you're just gonna go into. Oh wait. Uh. Did I do this right? Oh yeah, I forgot to put this like that. That was my fault. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Go, eventually this place is gonna be really dark. Okay, so boom, and then you come back here. <laughs> this one I like. <laughs> it's not like you're not going anywhere, it's barely moving. Oh, this is great. You know, if you, if you don't know, uh, like, labyrinth are really hard to do, like, just to go through a labyrinth. And I'm gonna be honest, making one was quite hard also. Like, really, really, really hard. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. But that's okay, I figured it out. It only took me a couple of hours to do. So I was quite happy about that. Okay, this one goes here. Oh, that, that's the thing that I need to make sure that they point into the right direction. Uh, because it's going to happen a lot that I make a mistake. Okay, so this one goes that way. This one goes there. Wait, this one was not a choice. This one was... Yeah. Uh, oh, but you see? That's why I made a mistake. I need to look at my plan. My plan says it all. This one actually goes on the other side. It's one of those exceptions. Oh, and you see? Another corner where... Uh, <laughs> that's going to happen a lot. There you go. <laughs> Just throwing the items. You know, there's a way that people could beat my system a little bit. And it's to know if, like, let's say... Oh, wait, is this one going to come back? 
Yes, it will. <laughs> so, you know, that, that kind of beating the system. Uh, it's simply because after a while, you don't know where you're going in there. So after going a couple of turning, you have no idea where you're going. And I think this is going to be why this maze is going to be so amazing. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I hope I'm going in the right direction. Okay, wait. Uh, this, this is the opening. This is there. So that way, I don't, I don't remember this part. Uh, oh, wait. This goes in the other direction. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. This goes there. <laughs> See, I really need to look at my plans. But, alright guys. I'm gonna do this level, and then I'm gonna show it to you. Because it's going to take me a good couple of minutes. Like, I mean, a good, 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 good couple of minutes. Probably the items are gonna go flying everywhere when I break them. <laughs> Alright, I'll do this, I'll bring you guys back. It's gonna be amazing. Bam! Check this out! <laughs> this is quite nice. I actually like that. I think I think we could make the, the winning run. Let's see if it run, if it works, okay? So the winning run you would go here. Okay, you would end up here, which I have no idea where I am right now. Uh, I went, I presume... Okay, so we started from somewhere? Okay, okay, so we're here? Okay, so we're there, so we need to go left. <laughs> which is gonna send us here. Which we then need to go... Left again. Which we need to go... <laughs> Left. Okay, then we need to go right. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, I have no idea where I am right now. <laughs> and I think I'm back at the beginning. <laughs> but you can see how crazy this thing is going to be. But I, I think I made all the corners correct. Uh, I will have to check them again, uh, hoping that I did not make a mistake. But this thing is just crazy. Uh, I I will put some good, uh, some good you know prices and stuff. Uh, don't have to worry about this. But I think now it's time to uh, double the walls, and then we're gonna put the mana glass on top uh, to get our lighting. Oh yes, of course I'm running out. I'm running out of everything! Oh, uh, by the way, the eye chisel is pretty good. I didn't know about this. I uh, used the normal chisel, but you can use this one. And then, like, select, uh, I don't know, the bow, and do chisel all. And now you've got everything. This. That. You have more? We do have more. Uh, yeah, this thing, this thing, <laughs> I'd love for it to be dark, but I can't because mob can spawn on the dark plates, uh, which they're probably going to do it while I'm gone. Uh, which, oops. <laughs> I keep, I keep going one back up, which doesn't work. Uh, basalt. We're, we're going to grab some of that. Ah. Uh, and we're gonna put these back. I'll need some of that. And we're gonna take the mana, the mana glass here, to put on top. I think that might be enough. I know that when I'm gonna go back, there's probably going to be a couple of monsters. Oh, that was what I was scared of. Creepers. Ha <laughs> ha they just went to the corners because it looked like they're trying to come. Every time they step on the plate. Where, where is he? 
that zombie tried to do the maze. It was actually pretty close. Ah, uh, we need to chisel them first. Like this, and you boom. Nope, 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 nope. Don't send me flying. So I will put some great prizes. Uh, you know, I don't want to give like something stupid at the end because this is quite hard to do. So I do hope people are going to like the prices. Uh, I'm going to tell you the prices at the end when I actually create them and put them in the chest. Uh, they will be allowed to take one of the price at the end of the run. I think I've done all of it. All right, so... Oh. It's too bright now. Okay, so then we're gonna go around and simply add these as the third block over all of this. I wish there was a way to simply just do the whole thing in one go, but I do not see a possibility of doing that. Oh, wait, I didn't do that part. There you go, fixed. And this should prevent uh, the mobs from spawning. <laughs> I do hope people actually record them trying to beat that thing. Because I know they're... I'm, I'm pretty sure some people will give up. And I do give... I will give like something to teleport out of the maze. Uh, just in case, you know, they, they give up. Uh, <laughs> they, I even showed the map at the beginning of the video. They could look at the video, I don't mind. It is so hard, once you're in the maze, to know where you are, that I don't even think they're going to be able to look at the, the plans and know where they are in the maze. That's how hard this thing is. <laughs> so, yep. They even have the, you know, the map up top, like they could zoom in and try to beat the maze like this, but they don't know where the things go. So, okay, <laughs> that's the thing. I think this maze is amazingly complicated and I'm super proud of having designed that maze. So, I wish I could, like, just take that maze, put it in the world, and let you guys try to beat the maze, just because... <laughs> I want to see if you guys can beat that maze, but you would need to have like the same mod pack, the same mods, things like that, and it would be a little bit complicated for that part. Uh, Luckily, there was uh, nothing here. Okay. Boom. Did I do it? No, I did that part. Okay, so there's just that tiny bit here, left. I actually like the look of it. So, I was kind of afraid that they could look a little bit uh, if I put the glass, but I don't think it's going to change anything. They can't see which side, which orientation the, the, the plates are going again. So, I don't think it's going to change anything. Because let's say, like, he, he's here, okay? He can jump and see that, like, there's, like, he can jump and see stuff, but it's not going to change that the fact that he doesn't know which part he needs to actually reach. So, yeah, craziest maze ever for the craziest person ever, which is probably me. Uh, <laughs> I really wish you guys could try that maze. There you go. I didn't do that part. Let's fly a little bit around. Everything seems to be good. So the next part, we put a roof on that. <laughs> put a roof, leave the sides open. Uh, like here. Oops. Here. Hey, Bat. How you doing? And here. So I'm going to have to do the whole ceiling on this as probably the same block, the basalt block. I hope I have enough basalt for this. Uh, this is quite a lot of basalt. 
And yeah. So I'm going to work on the second level. I'll bring you guys back when it's actually done because this is getting a little bit long and I knew it was going to be a little bit long, uh, but I just didn't know how long it was going to be. Uh, you know, I knew that one wouldn't be enough. I made three. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Stuck. Oh. All right. So I'll bring you guys back when the second level is done. All right, guys. So I've done the second level. Uh, turns out that in my plan, I had some problems, things that didn't really pan out. Uh, like when you're in the middle here, uh, if I remember, oh, oh, I just, I just saw a block missing. That would have been bad ah, in the hole. Uh, there we go. Uh, is there another hole missing? <laughs> yes, there is in this one. Wow. The, Oh, and of course, <laughs> yeah, this this happens a lot more often than you guys might think. Uh, okay, any other block missing? <laughs> this one was straight in front of the, the, the treasure chest, so that would have been quite easy to get to it. Uh, okay. okay, I don't think there's any more of those thingy anywhere. No. Seems to be okay. Uh, so the problem that I had at some point is uh, some things like, uh, where is it? I think it's this one here. Uh, this one wouldn't work because at first it was going here and it was supposed to point there, but this is pointing left. So it wouldn't work. So what I did is I cut it and I sent it to another road and it's okay. It, it pans out in the end. So it's not a big problem. So the last thing I've got to do is place the uh, place the mana mana uh, mana glass on top over here, and then I need to put the ceiling on top. And after that, it's pretty much just me uh, putting the things in place. You know, right around here we need to have uh, uh, elevator blocks because that's the way we're gonna come down. So you know that I'm not even aligned with the middle blocks. <laughs> And I think at least, yeah, we're aligned with the bottom at least. Uh, but I hope people just don't break stuff. Uh, that That's not the, the spirit. You need to go crazy, try to solve that thing. That's the spirit. You know, breaking stuff isn't, isn't what you're supposed to do. Uh, but no, at the top, I'm going to put some rules like you leave your, your things at the top. There shouldn't be monsters in the maze. Uh, it's important to also keep your arms inside the roadblocks uh, at all times if you don't want to lose them. There's also the rules of jumping is prohibited and you need to wait at least two hours after eating to be able to do the maze. Uh, or you might throw up and, you know, throwing up is kind of slippery thing. So we don't want that kind of stuff. Uh, the, <laughs> that's kind of the, the rules that I have. Also, I will give a teleport at the beginning, so if you finish the maze or if you can't do it, if you give up, you can actually just go back to the top and regain your thing without having to do some sort of finicky teleport. Alright, so this is going great. Uh, this didn't take as long as I thought to build a maze. Uh, what really took some time is figuring out the maze. Uh, building the maze isn't that bad. It's like figuring out how you're going to make That took forever. Like I said, a couple of hours just to do this. I think it's about two hours it took me just to imagine the maze. Uh, so I can't imagine people who do that... Well, I don't know if there's exactly people who do that for a living, but what I mean by that is I can't imagine what goes to people's mind when they do 3D mazes and stuff like that. It, it, it is a mind of their own. Like, this is pretty much the limitation of my mind. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do a more complex maze. If I did, it would probably take me a day. <laughs> so, yeah. It is a different skill, something that I'm not really used to doing <laughs> that I must admit 
I keep hearing zombies, but there's nothing in the in the maze here, so I presume we're fine. Sheesh, I need more uh glass. It's okay, I've got I've got more in at the base. So alright, I'm gonna do everything I need to do. I'm also gonna make a hole at the right place. Uh I'm gonna build the building at the top, you know, just so they can they know where the maze is. And uh, I'll bring you back with everything when I have put everything in place. You know, because uh, this thing is... <laughs> oh, oh, no way! Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's what I didn't want! This thing does a loop! You loop back to the place you were! Which... Oh no! Oh my god, I know what it is. I know what it is. Oh, I didn't think about this. Uh, but I'm gonna have to put a block here. <laughs> the reason I was looping is I was getting here, going through this side, and I was getting back to this spot. So every time I did the left side, I would end up back here, go through because I'm super quick, and end up on the other side. So, alright, <laughs> I'm gonna continue doing this, put the ceiling, do the hole, put the elevator blocks, and I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, so... Uh, I know, it's been a long episode, but... Check it out, we've got the maze. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of, you know, terraforming around here. I uh, really do, do you wanna go? <laughs> wow, he's so freaking quick! Okay, you did. Uh, so yeah, the maze. Uh, I should do, like, the lettering thing. I think it's not bad. It could be better, but uh, I think it's gonna be like that. This thing took forever to make. Uh, well, you know, I, I think I know how to fix this. There we go, it's already fixed. No, 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 no. I, wa I wanna put a little bit, like, of, of blocks so it doesn't look like, you know... Like it's just... Made to look like this. But, alright, and like also, uh, this. Oops. I don't have the block. Alright, so when you come in, you see welcome to the maze. Rule, do not fly. No breaking. I wanted to break no breaking stuff, but, uh, ah, I do have this line under. Rules, leave item here. So you would leave your item in a chest. Rules, keep arm inside the track tracks at all time go down the elevator to start so then you're here and well you you start your thing and just to show you here you have your uh, teleporter when you hit you get back to the top uh, i need to go place one in all the four corners and of course this is gonna happen okay and on my way i think and at the bottom you have congrats take one items so, I've decided to place some stuff that are quite rare to get, so you get elytras, an angelic feather, an electric bow, an obsidian paxel, because they're pretty amazing, a staff of traveling, half, half empty, you know, because it's the one I used, uh, an atomic disassembler, manulin shuriken, a dragon heart, and a dragon egg. So, it isn't like some bad drops that you get when you finish this. You, you get to choose between one of those. Uh, and eventually, if people actually make it and they want to redo it, I will fill it up because, you know, I don't think they're going to remember the, the path. I, I, don't, I don't think people uh, are, are maze experts. But most, most of us, I'm pretty sure we're not. And I don't mean like they're not. No, no, I mean we're not because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lost in that. In that place. Uh, so, <laughs> marble. I think I should have some more. Yeah, let's put one of these at the bottom. And it should complete the whole thing. So, yeah, guys. Uh, this took quite some time, but I'm pretty happy we made the maze. And I do hope people are going to try it and are going to despair into it. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is something I'm really proud of having, having done. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.